In this English lesson, I wanted to help you learn the English phrase to lend a hand. Sometimes you see someone trying to do something. Maybe they're trying to um, get their groceries into their car in the grocery store parking lot and they maybe look like they need some help and then you could lend a hand. When you lend a hand to someone, it means you help them do something. Uh, before I was able to clean my driveway myself, many, many years ago when we moved here, my neighbor would sometimes come and lend a hand. I just had a small tractor, he had a big tractor, and he would lend a hand. He would help me clean my driveway. I really appreciated that. Good neighbors are awesome, by the way. The second phrase I wanted to teach you today is a show of hands. Sometimes when I'm in a meeting, when we're trying to decide something, the person leading the meeting will say, well, let's have a show of hands. Who thinks we should do this? And then if you think you should do whatever you're talking about, you put your hand up and that's called a show of hands. So it's quite often when I'm in a meeting with other teachers, when we're trying to decide something, the person leading the meeting might say, you know what, let's vote on this. Can I see a show of hands for all the people who are in favor of doing whatever we're trying to decide to do? Anyways, to review, to lend a hand means to give someone help, to uh, help someone out. When you can see that they need someone to help them, you can lend a hand. You can give them a hand as well, by the way. And when you vote on something in a meeting, we sometimes call that a show of hands. I actually hope the audio is working okay. I see my microphone fluttering in the wind here, so I hope that everything is working okay. We'll see when I go back in and edit this. Anyways, let's look at a comment from a previous video. This comment is from Eduardo. Cool, snow view. By the way, is it possible that it snows even though the sun is so bright? I saw that in the last seconds. In my response, I think the snow is blowing off the roof of my shed. So no, it doesn't usually snow when it's sunny. Although sometimes there's clouds above and then you can see um, the sun in the distance. But what I think was happening the other day, Eduardo, I'm not sure if you can see it. Maybe I should walk out further. But sometimes the snow ends up on the roof of my shed. And then when it's really, really windy, that snow blows off the roof uh, onto the driveway and onto people who are just kind of standing there. Um, it's a little windy today. Uh, I have to go out here and grab my recycle bins. By the way, in Canada, we have our recycling and our garbage gets picked up by a big truck. The uh, recycling truck or the garbage truck comes and you can see out at the road there, my recycle bins and my compost bin are laying there. We also have a truck that picks up our compost. So uh, as soon as I'm done this video, in about a minute, I will grab those and I will bring them back into the house. It's actually, I might have to clean the driveway actually today. I wanted to get out here to show you what the road looks like in the winter as well. You can see that the snow regularly drifts back onto the road. So we have a truck, a snowplow that comes quite regularly, about every two or three hours um, to clean the road. And then they put usually a little bit of salt uh, and a little bit of sand down so that the road uh, stays safe and drivable for all the people who are using it. Anyways, uh, it's a little colder than I thought out here. I'm gonna uh, grab these recycle bins and go in. Thank you so much for watching. I apologize if the audio was really bad. That's just how it is when it's really windy out there. I'll see you. I think next Wednesday with another short English lesson. Bye.